Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Lesson 2-3, apply properties, multiply by 0 and 1. Let's move to the next page, page 74. Kira has eight plates with one orange on each plate. How many oranges does Kira have? So she has eight plates. You, you can use patterns to find eight times one. So she has eight plates and uh, one orange on each plate. So it means eight plates, it means eight groups of one, eight groups of one. The one represent how many oranges on each plate. So eight times one means eight plates of one on each plate. Eight groups with one in each group equals eight in all. So eight times one equals to eight. Kira has eight oranges. One plate with eight oranges also equals eight oranges. One group of eight, one group, this is one group, but how many in this group? Eight in this group. So one times eight equals to eight. So, uh, so the one is like a mirror. If you multiply any number by it, uh, the answer is that number. For example, seven times one or one times seven equals to seven. Three times one equals to three. One times five equals to five. So one is like a mirror. If you multiply it by any number, the answer or the product is that number. So the identity of, of one, the property of one, she said, the identity one, property of multiplication, when you multiply a number by one, the product is that number. Okay, let's move now to the zero. If Kira has four plates with zero oranges on each plate, she has zero oranges. So if she has four plates, means four groups, how much in each plate? Zero. So four times zero equals to zero. If four times zero equal to zero, then zero times four also equals to zero. So any number we multiplied by zero equals to zero. 10 times zero equal to zero. Zero times uh, nine equals to zero. Zero times 100 equals to zero. Any number we multiplied by zero equals to zero. Let's read the property of the zero. The zero property of multiplication says, when you multiply a number by zero, the product is zero. Let's move to page 75 and solve. In three to eight, find each product. Three times one equals to three. Question number four, three times zero. Three times one means three groups. One on each group, see, one on each group. Question number four, three times zero. I have three groups, but zero on each group. So three times zero equals to zero. Question five. Question five, one times seven. One times seven equals to seven. Five times zero equals to zero. Four times zero equals to zero. Eight uh, two times one equals to two. So any number we multiplied by, by one, give me that number. Any number we multiplied by zero equals to zero.